temperatures, sand, gravel, long distances, high altitude, technology, hard work, teamwork. Saudi Arabia, this is Rally Dakar 2022. The Audi team, driven by the new RSQ e-tron, will start the rally on the 1st of January 2022 in Hail, a historic rest point along ancient trade routes. Have a rest day at the halfway point in the capital Riyadh and finish on the 14th of January in Jeddah along the coastline of the Red Sea. Some stages are more than 500 kilometers in distance. Dakar Rally is no small undertaking and that's what gives it the title of one of the hardest challenges any motorsport team can take on. So Julius, why has Audi decided to take on the Dakar Rally in the upcoming year? You know, I'm lucky enough to be the head of a company and a team with such a rich history in motorsport. Starting with the Quattro domination, the S1, Pikes Peak, to the circuits of the DTM, the Formula E and of course Le Mans. Looking back at history, this is now something completely new but still incorporating parts of the technology that you've already used in racing. We want to be the spearhead of technology and this is what is absolutely new for the Dakar, for the desert. We came up with the solution that it is an electric driven car, but the, the energy comes also from the TFSI engine that recharges the battery. So we are, so to say, quite confident that this is going to be a good start for us. Tell me about the people behind this. There must be so many people involved in this project and the innovation. I mean, we have the best people you can get for such a project. They want to make the impossible possible. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what progress means to me. Yeah? Thank you so much for your insights, Julius. We will now be joining Emil Bergqvist as he tells us what the job of a co-driver entails. The main job of the co-driver in the stage is try to find the right way first, but I have to be a bit like a manager for the driver and then also to work with the car because in the end you also want to try to do the stages with no problems on the car, for example. So just try to bring the car home every day and for sure also not to get lost is really important. Much like co-drivers during a rally, our next team members help to lay out a logistical and technical map of how everything functions during the entire Rally Dakar project. There are many people working behind the scenes and we're lucky enough to be joined by two of them, Stephanie and Benedict. Hi Molly. Hi Molly. Stephanie, briefly, what do you do day to day in deployment and organisation? I'm in charge of the test and race organization of Audi Motorsport for our factory racing programs. Um, this means we are organizing everything what you need to go testing and racing and make sure that everything is there at the right place for the right time. Benedict, how does your job differ to Stephanie's and what does project management entail? Yeah, the best way I can describe uh, Stephanie deals with the human aspect and the logistic and I deal with the technical side of the project overall. Lastly, how do you both feel about being involved in a project like this? I would say it's a new experience and to be honest, it's a big challenge because there are always coming up things we never expected and you have to live with that. I feel like a pioneer and it's a honor to work in such a great team with all these professional and great people. So for me, actually, this team is family. 